My name is Sylvia Cloutier. Being up north is healthy. Being up north is home. I like to think that Inuit are very strong people to have survived and lived in the most harshest climate in the world and still be alive today. Right now I'm living in Iqaluit Nunavut and I've been there for about 20 some odd years. Um, but I'm originally from Nunavik uh, in Kujua. I think the biggest stress um, for me as a single parent living in the North is the cost of living is, is very challenging. It's discouraging to see the prices of certain items. Items that are actually healthy for you are very expensive. Everybody has the right to be healthy and everybody has the right to have access to healthy food. When Inuit speak English, we talk about country food and country food means our traditional food. It could mean the meat that we eat, it could mean berries, it could mean fish. I am a mother of two boys. In my family and in my house, I don't have a hunter. So what happens in our communities is that hunters who venture out and, and come back with food will often share their food with people like me. We have always counted on my Uncle Charlie to provide food for us. I really like knowing where my food comes from. And it always tastes better when you know who the hunter is that caught the animal and the meat and gave it to you. You know, it's a lot of work to hunt. And, and when somebody prepares this meat and brings it to you, it's, it's an honor to receive it. In Nunavik, it's very unique to the north. In every community, they have community freezers. So they pay hunters uh, for the meat and then community members can help themselves to country food and have more access to good eating. We come from a very sharing culture, so we, we don't keep things to ourselves. We, we share everything through food and through loving each other as family and as a community. I'm trying to explore more like how you eat plants in the North. There's the blueberries and the blackberries and then the red berries. Sometimes we make pies, we make jams. Labrador tea is is a plant that is that smells very strong. So you can smell it when you're walking through, you know, like in the bushes and or on the tundra. It smells like home. <laughs> Tastes like home too. I love learning about traditional ways of, of making food, but I'm not a traditional person, so I like to explore recreating traditions that feel good to me and that honor my culture. When I think about what people think of us in the North who haven't experienced traveling to the North, I think that there are a lot of ideas that it may be a, a dark, cold place to live, but it really is beautiful and the people are very welcoming. For me and my family and many of us in the North, being up North is that place where we feel healthy, comfortable, and we feel ourselves.